Now, there is one thing that I, I'm going to share with y'all tonight because it's worked for me for years, and I think it'll work for you. So this is what I do, and I think it works for everybody. In my life and yours, too, there's some dead time where you just, just for example, you get in a cab, you got to go downtown. There you are. You know, it's kind of dead time. You can talk on your phone. But I chose years ago to think, what if this is an interesting person? Everybody's a little bit interesting. And so I have three little questions that I try and I work on, and they seem to work well. When I get in a cab, I will say to someone, how long have you been driving the cab? Just opening the conversation. And they will always tell you. And it could also be sometime, how long have you been working at the restaurant? How long have you been checking people into the hotel? And if there are people not behind you, folks talk to you. And I'll say this, and then I sit back and I wait. And just let them, we've made friends, we're bonding. And then I'll say, lean forward and I will say, boy, I bet you've seen some funny things driving the traveling public around. And they'll say, yes, ma'am, I really have. At that point, sometime they will tell me a story. It may be funny, it may be not. Hey, just using my time. And I sit back and I just wait. And then I come back up again and I say, what's the funniest thing? that you've, you've seen happen driving the public around. And then they'll tell me, and you get some stories sometimes. For example, got in the cab in Greenville, South Carolina, going to the Greenville Spartanburg Airport. Got in the cab and immediately as we got out on the four lane road, not the interstate, I said, how long you been driving a cab? And he said, 17 years. And then he said, I could write a book. I reached on down and got out a tablet. <laughs> and I said, I bet you have seen some funny things driving people around. He said, oh, yes, ma'am, I really have. And I sat back. I felt so smug. <laughs> and I said, do you recall what's the funniest thing is? He says, I, I, I can recall it right now, ma'am. I know exactly what it was. It was that time I had a hog as a fair. I got out my pencil. I said, you had a hog as a fair, like a, a big pig? He said, no, ma'am, like a huge pig. I said, was your back seat open and he just was running along the road and jumped in or what? And he said, no, it's an explanation for it. He said, a man needed to get his hog down to Cowpens, South Carolina, to his brother and his truck had trouble and they had been working on it for hours, the hogs rooting around back there and they finally found out they're just gonna have to tow the truck and the tow truck driver said, I don't know, I'm not gonna, liabilities haul, haul that hog around. So he said, the only thing they need to do is get a cab and see if they take it down there. <laughs> and I was up. And I, I figure a fair is a fair. <laughs> we got the hog out of the truck with no trouble, but getting him in the back seat was tough. Put his little paws up against the door. One was pushing from the rear of the hall. The other one's pulling from the front. I said, I hope you got the pulling part. He said, oh, I got the pulling part. <laughs> and finally, he almost just popped on into the back seat and stumbling around, got up on the back seat. It smelled awful. <laughs> So I rolled down all the windows a little bit, and then I realized the hog can put his snout out the window at passing people. <laughs> people passing him on this side over here look and go, oh my gosh, there's a hog right there. <laughs> he said, after a while we had to come to a stoplight, and I stopped, and a woman pulled up on the other side and started banging on the side of the, her car, screaming, hey! Hey, you got a hog in your back seat. <laughs> a hog. And he said, playing along. I said, what? <laughs> Man, you got a hog in your back seat. H-A-W-G, a hog. I said, would you do that again? He said, no, no, I don't gonna do it again. No, I don't want any more hogs in my back seat. And I said, it messed up your cab, didn't it? He said, no, ma'am, not wasn't it at all. Hogs don't tip.
And then letting you know what a sharp guy this was. And with a sense of humor, he caught my eye in the rear view mirror and said, but ladies do. (laughs) 